whether you're in the College of Engineering, Business, or Arts and Sciences, your degree in aviation will eventually land you on the runway. Let's look at some things you won't find in the classroom. The 172s, they have uh, higher horsepower and they have more um, electronic equipment. For example, they'll have a full uh, instrument approved moving map GPS, which is state-of-the-art navigation equipment, which they're going to start learning to use. We have a flight training device that simulates very close to the training aircraft that we use. It has an almost 180 degree wraparound projection screen. It's got three projectors that basically show you what you would see if you're looking out the window of the airplane. All the ground features, the airport features, we can put um, fuel trucks and airplanes parked on the ramp. We can change the weather to whatever we want it to be. This is the Frasca, we call it. It's very detailed. We have a GPS that um, has like waypoints, that has uh, navigation NDBs and VORs. It'll actually show us Ohio State. It's very accurate. In this simulator, we can have several different conditions. Um, right now, we have it so that I can actually see outside like uh, good weather. But for instrument purposes, we can change it so that it looks like we're just completely in clouds, so I can't see anything. So the screen goes completely white, and that means that I have to navigate completely by looking at the instruments in front of me and not by my visual reference to the ground. You can change it to nighttime. But it's harder at night. You don't have as many uh, references on the ground to consider, and sometimes the lights will throw you off. I've been flying for just over a year. Uh, I started last January. I've already received my private pilot's license, and so right now I'm working on my instrument. Um, and when I graduate, hopefully I will have also um, my commercial, um, my multi-engine, and my flight instructing license. So I'll be able to teach other people how to fly. We gear the program toward not just somebody trying to meet the requirements, to meet the minimums, to, be, to get a license, we actually cater the program to the student who wants to become a professional pilot. So they get on-site training, they get experience before they're graduating, and because aviation is an interesting industry, it's a big industry, but at the same time it's very small. You get to know a lot of people in a lot of different places. The students that work here get to know people throughout the industry, and it leads to future jobs for them. Everybody knows everybody else. They're a very close group, so they watch out for one another, they support one another. And that is a very positive thing, because in this industry, they form connections, they form contacts, and uh, there are a lot of OSU graduates that help other OSU graduates out. There's a number of different opportunities in a program like ours than just coming out to a flight school. It's an industry, it's not really a job. If you're an accountant, you can do that in aviation. If you're a planner, you can do that in aviation. If you're an engineer, you can do the same thing. The former director of the Ohio Office of Aviation came up with the saying that one mile of roadway gets you one mile. One mile of runway gets you anywhere in the world. From the Ohio State University, I'm Chris Forbes. Thank you for watching.